Now, this is where we talked about in the very first slide and writing down that definition of a discrete domain and a continuous domain. A discrete domain is a set of input values that consist of only certain numbers in an interval. So here, for example, they have the integers graphed from 1 to 5. So, for example, if your mom said, hey, run to the store and you must come back with 1 to 5 eggs. So, you have to buy at least one egg, but she doesn't want you to buy more than five. So, the reason we put just the dots on the number line is because we can't buy part of an egg. You have to buy one egg, or two eggs, or three eggs, or four eggs, or five eggs. You can't buy part of an egg, which is why we use just the dots. Now, if we look at a continuous domain, well, let's say you go to Orange Leaf, and they say that you must buy at least one ounce of yogurt, but you cannot buy more than five ounces of yogurt. Well, when you're filling up your yogurt cup, you don't know exactly, you don't have to buy exactly one ounce or exactly two ounces or exactly three ounces. They'll measure it, and then they'll charge you. So again, since we're able to buy different amounts of yogurt, then we have what we call a continuous domain. Here we take a look at this uh, table of values, and they ask us, is this domain discrete or continuous? Well, if X represents the number of stories in a building, can you have part of a story if you're building a house? Or building a building? No. So this is be a discrete domain because I can only have whole number value. This would be a discrete domain and this would be a continuous domain.